This film illustrates intubation of the Malincrot range of seal guard endotracheal tubes and highlights their key features. Seal guard endotracheal and tracheostomy tubes are recommended as the first tube for your medium to long term intubated patients. Intubation of seal guard with its polyurethane cuff has been shown to clinically reduce the incidence of ventilator associated pneumonia or VAP. More on these clinical references later. The innovative taper shaped seal guard cuff minimizes tracheal damage and also provides an improved seal. Seal guard can be used in a variety of environments, notably in operating theatres, intensive care departments and even in home care. In this example, we will see intubation of the seal guard endotracheal tube set in a typical accident and emergency department. Before carrying out the intubation, wash your hands in accordance with your hospital's protocol. Hand-mediated transmission is the major contributing factor to healthcare-associated infection, which was cited in The Lancet in 2000 in a paper highlighting the hand hygiene compliance. For the critical patient, it is essential that infection control procedures are followed. Covidian has a range of best-in-class products for monitoring and managing critical patients, specifically the Invos Cerebral Monitor. This is a non-invasive cerebral somatic oximeter which simultaneously monitors changes in regional blood oxygen saturation in the brain and skeletal muscle tissue of the body. Invost provides monitoring of real-time regional saturations for a more accurate assessment of the patient's condition. The Nelcor Oximax Pulse Oximetry System. This enables both the monitor and sensor to exchange digital data with one another, providing the highest levels of accuracy. The Puritan Bennett Ventilator. This offers sophisticated ventilation modes, including tools to aid faster weaning from mechanical ventilation. Ensure that the trolley is fully prepped in accordance with your hospital's infection control policy and that emergency airway equipment is available close by. All Malincrot seal guard tubes are sterile packed for single patient use and can be used in position for up to 29 days. Inflation of the cuff is tested by the usual procedure of pre-inflating using a 10 mil syringe. The polyurethane cuff material is less than 15 microns thick. This allows the thin material to conform to the shape of each trachea, providing an effective seal without creating longitudinal channels. Intubation should be conducted in accordance with your hospital's protocol. After positioning the tube in the trachea, the laryngoscope is removed. Using a 10 mil syringe, the cuff is inflated to secure the ET tube in position. The cuff pressure should be regularly checked and maintained between 15 and 25 centimeters of water. As you can see when inflated, the cuff has the ability to conform to varying trachea shapes whilst maintaining its integrity. Its polyurethane design helps to reduce silent aspiration through the cuff. Longitudinal channels are minimized due to the shape and ultra-thin cuff material. Here we can see subglottic secretions pooling above the inflated cuff. The subglottic space is estimated to hold 5 mL of secretions and can be aspirated using the EVAC system. These subglottic secretions can contribute towards ventilator-associated pneumonia. EVAC tubes feature an additional lumen integrated into the tube wall. This gives access to the subglottic space. Suctioning through the EVAC system can be achieved through the separate lumen in three different ways. Intermittent suction, continuous suction, or manual suction through a syringe. Intermittent suctioning can be applied by using pressures between 100 and 150 millimeters of mercury 
and can be set to intermittent cycles of on for 8 seconds, off for 15 seconds. Continuous suctioning can be applied with pressures not exceeding 20 millimeters of mercury. Please see the instructions for use for further guidance. Manual suction can be facilitated using a minimum of a 10 mil syringe and should be applied only in accordance with the patient's clinical needs. Using seal guard endotracheal and tracheostomy tubes as your preferred airway will give you confidence that you are choosing the best airway product for your patient. Now let's look at the clinical based evidence for seal guard. Seal guard has gained recent FDA approval stating seal guard PU taper shaped cuff reduces microaspirations by at least 95% in comparison to the high-low basic barrel shape PVC cuff. The Lorente paper published in 2007 also validated the seal guard tube through research demonstrating that 22.1% of the patient group with a standard high-low PVC cuff contracted VAP. This was compared to only 7.9% of the patient group who received the PU cuff with subglottic drainage. Lorente concluded that the use of an ET tube with polyurethane cuff and subglottic drainage helps prevent early and late onset VAP. Make Malincrot Seal Guard your tube of choice. Here's why. There's a reduced risk of VAP through unique cuff design, which improves the seal in the trachea, ultra thin cuff material, which conforms to the shape of the trachea, creating an effective seal without causing longitudinal channels, optional EVAC feature for the suctioning of subglottic secretions. Malincrot Seal Guard, your tube of choice. The key is the right cuff.